This is the Colt Model 901 16S. This is the Colt 901 Modular Weapon System. This is a gun that I never thought I'd see from Colt because what you're looking at here is a 7.62x51 NATO rifle. Now Colt has been in the M16 business really since 1960, but this is the first commercial Colt offered in 7.62. But the thing about this gun, it converts very easily to 5.56. Now the gun has a monolithic upper receiver, that is the forend is not separate, it's all machined from one piece of aluminum. And I've watched them do it at the Colt factory and that takes some tool time. This gun operates on the direct gas transfer, direct impingement system of operation. No pistons here. Direct impingement works really well for Colt and they stuck with it. What we have is a 16.1 inch barrel. It's got a vortex flash hider on the front and it's a 1 in 12 right hand twist. And it's built to handle the same cartridges used of course by the military in the M110 series. Also the magazine comes from that same M110 series. It's AR10, SR25 and in particular it's a Magpul P-Mag. It's a very useful magazine. This is a magazine that's issued to our troops right now. The controls on this gun will be very familiar to anybody who's familiar with the M4 AR platform, except Colt took the extra step of upgrading to fully ambidextrous controls on everything except, of course, the charging handle. Uh, on the right side of the gun, you've got a magazine release in the standard location, but you also have a bolt release above. On the left side of the gun, same thing. Magazine release on the bottom, and your standard bolt stop is up top. Now when you pop this gun apart, it's a simple matter of pulling a pin as if it's an AR-15 or an M16, and out comes the bolt. This is a much beefier bolt than you're looking at at the M4. Now the great thing about this gun is after you pull that bolt out, pull your magazine out, there's a very clever block that actually attaches to the upper receiver. Now what this does is allow that block to drop into the magazine well. When you look at the lower receiver of this gun, obviously it's larger to take the 7.62 cartridge, but it takes that adapter. You can identify a Colt 901 very quickly because of this lower receiver assembly. Change out the bolt, change out the buffer, change out the magazine, and because of that block, you can put an all new upper receiver, really in any caliber, compatible with the AR-15 M16 platform. Now this gun, at more than $2,100, is not inexpensive, and that does not include the conversion kit, but really what you're looking at is the first 7.62 semi-automatic rifle from Colt, and a gun that can be converted. Really, when you think about all the engineering that went into this gun, that price isn't bad. For more Gun of the Week, go to AmericanRifleman.org.